<coughs> yeah, okay, good. we were at the um, grocery store today, and we saw that they sold actual aspartame at the grocery store. So we thought that we would grab this was equal was actually cheaper, um, which is a brand name um, aspartame. Let's look at the ingredients here. Ingredients. Want me to get a dextrose with Coca? something else. Aspartame. Turn it back. <clears throat> so um, we're go what we decided to do is figure out whether or not this was really bad for people. You hear lots of bad stuff. Shh. Lots of bad stuff about no. aspartame. So we bought a couple of mice, as you can see here on the table. We bought two mice, and we're going to feed one sugar water and one aspartame water. One has a little bug crawling on it. I know where that thing come from. Uh, and then we'll see if if one lives longer than the other. If there's any negative effects of the um, of the aspartame. Aspartame. Come on, there, Mousy. There he is. Mousy. 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 Cute mice. Is he cute, Huckleberry? Yeah, he's cute. And I love him. Oh. <coughs> well, we won't give him the aspartame. Yeah, he's hang around. <laughs> he's cute. This guy don't mess around. Ooh, who are we giving it to? It's pretty tough. A few more comes. Okay, here. Huck. Can Huck pick which one he wants? Oh, I want, I want this one. one. You want this guy? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I want. <coughs> I don't know. Okay, so I have a um, tablespoon of equal, which I'm gonna drop into here. Natural environment. And then a um, tablespoon of sugar. So the sugar. Aspartame. Now I'm gonna put. Um, this mouse is too afraid. He's too afraid of what? Of this. Oh, he won't be afraid of that. He's gonna eat that right up. And then I'm gonna put. Uh, equal, I'm gonna put. I guess I'm gonna go two tablespoons of water in there and see what happens. Okay. All right. It turns out about a three to one. I used three tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of aspartame. And now uh, it's a matter of deciding which of the mice gets the aspartame and which one gets the sugar. And I'll also point out, Why don't we have I'll also point out that the um, aspartame, I don't know if you can see this or not, has some floaty crap on top of it. I don't know what that is. It just won't dissolve. It's almost like it's um, styrofoam or something, but it will not dissolve no matter what I do. And there's the sugar water. And a big rock and six to decorate my cage with my mouse. Decorate your mouse cage? Yeah. Okay, hold on. We'll decorate it in a minute, all right? Okay. Okay, so here are our two little mice guys. This is the guy who's eating the aspartame. And he's just hanging out on top of his thing there. And his name... Huckleberry named him, I don't know if you can see that, but his name is Candle. Candle T, actually, is his name. <clears throat> and then the other guy who's eating the sugar, his name is Ronald. And as you can see, we made it a little more comfortable for them. We put some paper towels in the bottom of their cages. I'll have to get some additional light so that's a little more light in here so you can see them better. But they're still alive and kicking. This guy spills his water all the time, so it's kind of tough. He's the one eating the aspartame. Uh, Candle's eating the aspartame. And Ronald is eating the sugar. So, what do you think's going to happen? You think Candle will die of cancer first? Or will Ronald get diabetes first? Okay, so it's day two, and we have Candle, the guy who's eating the aspartame, and Ronald, the guy who is eating the um, the sugar. Ronald dumps his dish over, his sugar water over, all the time, and Ronald was up all night uh, um, basically banging his, uh, 
trying to escape, I think. As you can see, he's getting pretty, he's aggressively trying to escape, and it looks like Candle. This is pretty much all he does. I think the Aspartame's starting to get to him. He's not very active, whereas this guy is always active and trying to get out of the, um, <clears throat> get out of his cage. Oh, there's Candle making a little movement. So if you take Candle out and you play with him, he will play. <clears throat> but you'll see the aspartame. He drinks all of his aspartame, which is good. And Ronald dumps his sugar water on the floor. Okay, so this is day four of Candle T and Ronald. And uh, Candle T, he is the... Here he is. He's the guy who's eating aspartame. And he looks slender. <clears throat> this is Ronald. Ronald is eating sugar water. He appears to have put on weight. And he does not, um, I don't know, maybe four days is too easy to, too soon to tell. But um, he seems a little sluggish as well. So maybe sugar is worse for you than aspartame. But look at this guy, man. He's constantly trying to get out of his cage. Trying to chew his way out. <coughs> hey, Ronald. Wake up, buddy. All right, let's see what Ronald's story is here. His cage was open. Ronald's not doing too well. I'm going to put a little food in his... In his jar too. I don't think he's gonna play with this anymore, but he used to play with that little ladder. <clears throat> All right, so I need to give um, Candle T. Look at this guy, man. He's frisky. I want out. I want out. He's saying. All right, so I'll drop a little food in for Candle T. Come on, buddy, eat your aspartame. Oh, he's he's his water was empty. Looks like he's going for the sugar water again. I think he's addicted. I think he's fatter. We'll have to compare with the video from day one. But I think Ronald is fatter than he was. Candle T is as slender as he ever was.